Hello, today I will be showing you how to make a 2D design pattern on Rhino 6 using Python. So I will be programming a function or a set of functions to make a pattern on a 2D plane. So in this video, I have already made up a Python command to execute this particular design. Which I will be showing you right now. So this is my Python tab where I have written a lot of different commands for different designs. So this is the program which you have to type in case you want to make the pattern. So let's execute the program first and then I will try to explain you according to the pattern what I've tried to do in this program. So let me execute and take care of this program. As you can see there are lines horizontal and vertical and inclined lines formed and there is a big circular design which is formed here and this entire pattern looks like an eye ball so I can explain you how I try to make this via coding so when you see my rhino script it will be clear for you what I have done in this program. Okay, let me form it. Okay, so my Python script is like this. Here I have tried to call the functions which are required in this program. Rhino script syntax, random and math library. So this is a very basic step which we follow before executing the program so in very short I will try to explain you that if you import math function you can use all the math functions like maths.sign, math.cos or the power function which is inside the math library or the pi function in the math library so for that you have to import the math function. So now the first step before starting the code is to make a variable step of zero. So the first thing is to define the step and then make a for loop. So in the for loop, we give a condition to i to run from 0 to 41. So this loop runs for 41 times. The points are made for 41 times. So 41 points are plotted on the graph and this add line function joins every two points to form a line. And as you can see here, the vertical lines as well horizontal lines and the inclined lines. So what the add line function does here is the point one, point two. As you can see, step five plus. Okay, so here when I put zero, the first point come somewhere around here at the origin origin I mean the base point of this diagram after this as you can see the next step is 45 comma 0 which is this point so the first line is made here and the second line is made from point 3 to point 4 which is this 
So the program tries to make vertical as well as horizontal line in sequence first. After that, it tries to connect the point 1 and point 4. So that is this point. So it keeps on making inclined lines like this and keeps on reducing the inclination and the grid according to the number. So I guess you must have understood now what I have tried to do in the for loop. So this step 0 is just so that this function starts at 1 and ends at 41. We don't want this for loop running at 0 for infinite loop. Hence we start with step 0 so that we start with 1 and the step keeps on changing until the loop is executed 41 times. So now next I have defined a point function so that I put my all the points created from the for loop below. So what I've tried to do here is in the 22nd line I created a power function which gives you root 2 value and on 23rd line this is the function which gives you the pi value and uh, in the next for loop you can see Uh, the function f range 0 point 0 p into 100 p into 16 so what I have done here is I'm starting from 0 degrees to 100 pi uh, in the in the scale of p by 16 so it will keep on increasing by p by 16 until it reaches 100 pi so each value is substituted in this x y point and the point is created on this graph and when you get all the set of points the points are appended together and the point appended together is used to create a curve so each point in the sequence is connected like a curve so when you put the zero degree it starts somewhere maybe from the center and then until it reaches the p100 it keeps on making loops in the sinusoidal shape or cosine shape as you can see so that is all in this program I hope it is clear for you